to the third and final module in this course, Digital Radiography. This module is titled Picture Archiving and Communication Systems and Quality Control and Quality Assurance. Advances in computed technology over the past several decades have transformed healthcare in many areas. It had a significant impact on radiology. This section will introduce key terms and discuss their application in the radiology department. At the conclusion of this presentation, the participant will be able to understand these 11 objectives. State the purpose of common post-processing activities such as smoothing, edge enhancement, image stitching, equalization, and electronic masking. Differentiate between HIS and RIS. Discuss the use of digital imaging and communication in met medicine or DICOM. Describe the components and functions of a picture archiving and communication system or PACS. Discuss safety and emergency procedures for imaging and communications in the healthcare environment. Define HL7 and describe its significance in the healthcare communication system. Describe short-term and long-term image archival. Discuss the difference between quality control and quality assurance procedures. Differentiate QC and QA procedures performed by the technologist versus medical physicists. Discuss quality assurance procedures used in digital imaging. And lastly, discuss imaging artifacts in computed radiography and digital radiography. Digital imaging systems have greater dynamic range than film screen systems. The greater dynamic range allows for many more shades of gray to be captured by the image receptor and possibly displayed on the monitor. Along with the greater dynamic range, the capabilities of computer software allow digital image data to be manipulated to enhance anatomic structures, suppress noise, and adjust brightness and contrast. The functions that are listed here are just some of the software adjustments that can be used by radiographers and radiologists with digital imaging. It is important for the radiographers to follow their institution's protocols when employing any of these software functions. The function and capability of all digital imaging systems are similar but may use different terminology depending on the vendor. Image shuttering allows the radiographer to place a black border or background around the original collimated edges of the image. The black border eliminates any white areas seen around a collimated image. Image shuttering is not to be used as a replacement for actual pre-exposure collimation or beam restriction. Proper collimation restricts the x-ray beam to the anatomy of interest, reduces patient dose, and increases contrast resolution by reducing the amount of scatter that is produced. Image shuttering simply makes the displayed image more aesthetically pleasing to the viewer. Therefore, institutional and departmental protocols should be followed. Note, in 2015, 
the American Society of Radiologic Technologists, or ASRT, took a strong position against the use of masking or image cropping. The position statement reads, a digital image should not be cropped or masked such that it eliminates any areas of exposure from the image that are presented for interpretation. ALARA standards require all irradiated anatomy be presented to the interpreting physician. Subtraction has a long history in radiography, specifically in angiography. The process was originally a manual process completed in the darkroom. Digital subtraction angiography, or DSA, was pioneered in the 1970s. Subtraction is particularly useful in studies using contrast media. The contrast medium filled structures can be enhanced while suppressing overlying anatomical structures. Edge enhancement is another software function that uses an algorithm to convert the image into the spatial frequency domain. The algorithm averages the signal strength of the adjacent pixels in the image data. Carter and Veal refer to this as a neighborhood and state that edge enhancement occurs when there are fewer pixels in the neighborhood included in the signal average. When the frequencies of the region of interest are known, those frequencies can be amplified and other frequencies can be suppressed. This process produces an image with increased contrast. Smoothing is another software function that removes high frequency noise from the image. In edge enhancement, the number of pixels averaged is reduced, whereas with smoothing, the number of pixels averaged is increased. Smoothing is the result of averaging each pixel's frequency with surrounding pixel values to, res to remove high frequency noise. The more pixels involved in the average, the smoother the image will appear. This process reduces noise, brightness, and image detail. Scoliosis and limb length studies often must be acquired using multiple exposures on separate image receptors. Once the multiple acquired images are processed in the correct order, stitching software allows the radiographer to join separate processed images into a single image format. 